was honored to be invited by the FNGLA to attend the Tropical Plant International Expo in Tampa. It was at the end of January. I flew out to Tampa, spent a few days there, and filmed for all of you, and I'm really excited to share this video with you. Now, the Tropical Plant International Expo is an opportunity for um, a lot of different growers of these tropical plants that we love to kind of share the plants that they're excited about for the year, and uh, people who have plant nurseries, greenhouses, plant shops can go to this event, see what all the growers are growing, and kind of pick out the plants they want, place their orders, that kind of thing. It's also a wonderful opportunity for people who have companies that have plant products to share those. So there was a lot of really cool new stuff there. Now, the reason why this is exciting for me and for all of you as tropical plant lovers is like I said, the growers are there. So they're sharing all of the cool new plants that we can keep an eye out for this year. Now I filmed so much content that I'm going to be splitting it up into three. In this episode, I go around, share some of the really cool booths that I saw, lots of tropical plants, lots of really cool plant products. None of this is sponsored. Answered. It's really just, it was me going around seeing what I thought would be relevant to all of you, what you might be interested in learning more about. Now do keep an eye out for the other two episodes I'm going to be putting out. In one of those, I went around to all of the different growers and said, okay, what are you seeing a lot of orders for? What should we keep an eye out for? What are the really new and exciting plants that we can kind of uh, be expecting this year on the market? That was fascinating to be able to go to the actual growers and, and have those conversations. I was just blown away. So that's a very, very cool episode. It should be coming out this week. I also am excited to share they had a contest going on. That in and of itself was really cool, but Costa Farms submitted some amazing plants for that contest. So we get a sneak peek as to what plants to keep an eye out for um, that will be coming out in maybe some of our big box shops. You know, Costa Farms provides the trending tropicals and a lot of the really cool, rare, and uncommon tropical plants that a lot of us are finding in these big box shops. And I was blown away when I saw the plants that they submitted. Oh, it was amazing. So again, there are those two other episodes to keep an eye out for in addition to the one today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley and I'm just a plant hobbyist, a planty person that is passionate and excited to connect with the plant community. I share um, plant shopping videos, Videos, plant care, traveling videos, I don't know, but all good planty stuff. So if that brings a smile to your face and you are a crazy plant person as well, make sure to subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a really great Instagram plant community that we would love for you to be part of. I'm incredibly excited to share this with you. I would love to hear your feedback and your comments. If you have any questions, I'll definitely be answering them below. All right, so sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy. Tropical Plant International Expo in Tampa for the next couple of days and I am so incredibly excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to meeting all of the different people here, looking at some of the really cool plant trends that are going to be coming up, some interesting plant products. I mean, this is incredible. There's so many amazing vendors here. There's like a rare plant vendors, different nurseries are here, uh, all of the cool like upcoming trends for 2022. I'm Sarah Spatola and I am the current president of the Florida Nursery Growers and Landscape Association. That's FNGLA and we are the association that's responsible for putting on TPIE which is the Tropical Plant International Expo and for those of you who are houseplant lovers out there, a great a majority of your, your plants actually come from uh, the Florida industry so um, this organization is is a collective of the folks that are producing uh, your favorite houseplants and then uh, also those that are distributing them and getting them to your local garden center so that you can purchase them. I was looking at some of the vendors that are here and it is incredible. I can't wait to check it out. 
So right in the front is Costa Farms. I, of course, have to go in here, say hello to everybody, and take a look at some of their cool plants that they have going on today. I wanted to take a quick peek at the trending tropicals they have on display. Some of our favorites, the watermelon pep, Adamsonii. Wow, look at this Xanthosoma. So gorgeous. Geogenanthus here. Some Begonia. Monstera Peru. I still have yet to find a Monstera Peru. Very excited though that they're going to be coming out to market or are already out to market. Calathea Mosaica. Baltic Blue. Ah, so beautiful. Birkin. Shumi Red. Raven ZZ. Gorgeous Aglonema. Oh my gosh, wow. If these are the silver dragons that they have coming out, I'm crazy excited. <laughs> I hope I find one. Oh my gosh, look at this, Squamiferum. Whoa, that is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, oh, there's a couple of them. So yeah, I know that some of us have been finding these, but look at these mature leaves, absolutely incredible. And we have some global greens over here, some trubii, begonia. Look at this raphidophora, tetrasperma, so pretty. Another gorgeous aglionema, our favorite begonia maculata whitei. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous calathea, raphidophora hyi. Has my favorite story ever. <laughs> with it that Mike told us how we found it. Fiddle leaf fig, another gorgeous begonia. I think that's begonia Sinbad. Look at all these pitcher plants. This is amazing. Deru's plants. Some cute little bambino alocasias. Wow, incredible. Wow, it's like a full-on tropical rainforest in here. Amazing. Holy cow. This is incredible. This is Arrowy Greenhouses. My jaw dropped when I saw all of these amazing plants here. Look at this billetier. Absolutely massive. Wow, it's so nice to see these mature form plants. Cute little gloriosum and a little Cebu blue. Wow, look at this Cebu blue. All right, this is goals. Cebu blue goals. Cute little Syngonium. Look at this Jose Bono. Bueno, Bono. Oh. The size of these leaves. Massive. Look at this leaf over here. many cool Syngoniums. Look at this Syngonium Aurea. Syngonium Green Splash. Gorgeous Melanochrysum. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this wall. Wow, look at that Anthurium, Gloriosum. I believe these down here are Amedrium. Look at this one. My goodness. Incredible. Monstera subpinata. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Painted Lady. Mature Bob C. these cool Hoyas. I really like this one that has the little crinkly leaves. Hoya. 
dances. That's really nice. Oh my gosh, this one's so fuzzy. You can't see it on camera, but it's so fuzzy. They have a variegated Hoya Multiflora. Isn't that beautiful? The blooms on Multifloras are just gorgeous. Everyone's favorite polyneura or fishtail Hoya. Look at this. Incredible. Epipremnum panatum variegata. Just beautiful. Look at some of these variegated leaves. Oh, I love it. seen this one before it's called a philodendron green dragon and I imagine when it ha when it matures it has the leaf shape of a golden dragon but this one has little speckles all over it it's really nice looking this philodendron golden crocodile is incredible oh my god philodendron glad hands look at these delicate delicate leaves philodendron luxurians radiant amazing Reminds me of the Choco Red a little bit. Philodendron Esmeral, Forgetii, Anthurium Crystallinum Silver, Anthurium Luxuriance. Wow. <laughs> this one got a wow out of me for sure. Some more beautiful Anthurium. I've never seen these types of Anthurium before. Anthurium, Anthurium Cocobamba. I'm here with Paula with Perfect Choice Nursery. Her family owns Perfect Choice. And I actually did a video bef before going to Perfect Choice and shopping. It was amazing. Thank you. Incredible. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Perfect Choice Nursery. So we're a family owned garden center. We focus on aeroids, exotic plants, exotic hoyas. And we've been around for 20 years. The, the aeroid part, we started doing it like just a few years yeah. ago. Maybe like two, three years ago. Really? So we're here at TPIE. Wow. We have our own booth. So we're just, you know, what is it? We're just exhibiting it. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> yes, thank you. Showing all the plants that you have to offer. Yeah. Because not many places have these types of plants. You no, know? no. Oh, this is my dad over here. Bobby. Hello. Hi. That's my dad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me. No, so of Paula actually has a YouTube channel. Yeah, so we have a YouTube channel. Um, I focus on kind of the behind the scenes of working at a garden center. It's like I'm trying to do more blogs. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you follow us at Perfect Choice Nursery. It should be like in the description or right yeah, here. Yeah, I'll put below. it right here for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just check us out. And thank you so much, Ashley, for hanging oh, out. Thank you. <laughs> and doing this collab little, you know, yeah, it's great. I this appreciate is awesome. It. it was so nice to actually meet yes. you in person. Like that's what's so exciting about yeah. this type of event is I actually mm -hmm. get to meet everybody. Like, we have a totem pole right here, a Coco Core pole. My dad wanted to build the largest one ever. So. Your dad is amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna put some footage here of this really cool, what would you call it? Like a, a mobile greenhouse. A mobile greenhouse that he's been wearing around. When I saw that, I just was like, okay, this guy and I speak the same, we're kindred spirits. Like we speak the same plant language. Amazing. This is Excelsa Gardens and I follow them on Instagram. Um, so it's really exciting to, see some of these plants in person meet the you know the faces behind the Instagram and all of that um, and their plants are so so cool they have some really amazing ones I love this philodendron over here philodendron graziale but it, I for me it's about the heart-shaped philodendron leaves completely obsessed and there's a huge a variegated monstera Thai constellation I'll show you but look at these beautiful gloriosums here there's a lot of pink princess philodendrons here gorgeous painted lady 
just really exciting. Ooh, look at this ring of fire. Okay, <laughs> ring of fire goals. And you can see like the newest leaf, how orange and beautiful it is. Yes, ring of fire. Look at this leaf. Oh, I love it so much. Have a compacta, deshidia, string of watermelons. Look at this. Holy cow, I have to get a picture of that. That is amazing. So beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> it's huge. Ooh, I just found Silver Chrome Garden. And if you guys uh, watch Summer Rain Oaks, she actually came here, um, well, to their location in Homestead, Florida, and filmed an episode where Bill, um, who I just met by the way, I'm like fanning out here, he showed her his private collection. And oh my gosh, they have some amazing plants here. And um, when I was walking past, I just happened to glance over and see some of these plants and then it turned out that it was with silver chrome gardens so this is butler's foliage and they have some really interesting Hoyas and succulents that I was kind of checking out. They have um, Curtisii and Macrophylla, Gracilis, Australis, Lisa. So yeah, lots of good finds. Beautiful Peperomias, cute little ant plants. Central Florida ferns. Look how cute. This looks like a type of um, Cissus, Ficus, and Marantas. They do have some cute little ferns. Looks like a fuzzy petiole there. That's so neat. Ooh, little string of turtles. Silver Sword, Ficus Altisma. I'm seeing a lot of really cool alocasias here. Look at this one. Pretty Anthurium. Ooh, look at this VGI. Pink Lady, or I'm sorry, Pink Princess. so cool how they have their succulents and cacti displayed. I imagine it's how they ship them. So cool. Look at these little baby ones, oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. Look how cute these little necklaces are. I am obsessed. These air plants. Tillandsias are beautiful, so healthy. These little flowering ones. I love these Medusa, Medusa head ones. Look at these fuzzy guys. beautiful this is oh my gosh I have to say I'm so incredibly impressed 
with how all of these plants are displayed. It's amazing. Look at these bromeliads. The flowers are stunning and the gorgeous leaves. Turtle pond orchids. <gasps> Look at these orchids, guys. This is amazing. I'm always so amazed at like root systems of orchids. And well, second to their blooms, of course. Look at this purple guy. amazed look at these i like the ones maybe you orchid uh, lovers can tell me but the ones that have this little thing it kind of looks like a face i just love them i don't have any in my collection but i would love to add them i just need feel like i need a little bit more confidence with orchid care wow look at this one my goodness this one is so beautiful. I love the purple with the white. Look at these pink little guys. Wow, look at this one. So amazing. I can like smell the beautiful gardenias next door. Exciting. Let's see what stuff Urban Jungle has coming out this year. Um, what different plants they have going on. These are the ones you can find in the big box shops. Looks like there's some Alocasia Black Velvets. And um, Variegated Peperomias. Marble Queen. Cute, oh my gosh, some gorgeous calatheas, philodendrons, skin dapsis, some more philodendrons, look at that beauty there. Looks like a prince of orange, lots of beautiful little succulents. Um, here it kind of shows some interesting ways to decorate with them the planters are really nice look at these guys that's so cool I'm Nicole. I'm with Peach and Pebble. You can purchase our pottery online um, at just peachandpebble.com. But we sell a lot of indoor modern pottery. So a lot of our pots, all of them actually have a drainage hole with a rubber stopper included with it in every single pot. Um, so you can take that out and put it on the outside if you want to or keep it on the inside. Um, we have a lot of different modern kind of styles. Some of our new ones that are coming out that you probably won't see yet are our new modern classic. Um, and then also our square planter. Um, and then we go all the way up to our 15 inch. So that white one on the ground there is our 15 inch planter, which is awesome. And we actually do have a plant stand that correlates along with that, which is a really awesome stand. So we'd love for you to shop with us online. Um, and then we also retail on Amazon also, so you can find us there too. an interesting company you us amazon plants llc or us amazon plants.com and it looks like they have a lot of rare plants but as you can see this is a busy booth so i'm just gonna like <laughs> kind of get a little peek look at this beauty oh my gosh 
They actually have these plants for sale. No wonder they're busy. They're one of the few booths that have plants for sale. Um, that's really exciting. I haven't seen that yet. So this one is Anthurium Pendens, $85. And Anther here's another Anthurium Pendens, $100. This is Lewis, and this is his business. Um, he's been a grower of rare plants for about 10 years, um, but four months in the Florida area. And as you can see, as I said, like these plants are incredible. And he said he does sell direct to consumers if you guys are interested. And uh, you can purchase it on his website, usamazonplants.com. Oh, <laughs> I had to wait a minute because it's been so packed in here. But I'm just gonna really quickly like take a little peek at some of these plants. Philodendron Serpens, Melanochrysum, Vericosum. Wow. They're so beautiful. Wow, look at this one. These are so cool. Crystallinums. Luxuriums. So many different anthuriums. Regale silver. So I just stumbled across this company called Leaf home water solutions. They're based in Florida and Ohio. And I know one of the things that we're kind of is a thing for us as plant parents is if our tap water um, is okay for our plants. And they'll actually, I thought it was interesting, um, they'll come out to your house, they'll test your tap water, and then they'll, you know, adjust it as needed. And one of the reason why they're here is because it's great for our plants. And I just thought that was so cool. I'm thinking of, uh, of doing something like this um, myself. I stumbled across this adorable booth. Oh my gosh, they do, it's not coca, coca Dima, they have a different patented process and they actually build the little, um, you know, the kind of, not the planter, but the base of it themselves. They use different materials depending on the type of plant. You know, what will, what's the most, you know, effective uh, materials based on the plant to keep them as healthy as possible. I've been told they're very functional. I just thought this was really cool and you can find them on their Instagram or uh, on their website creativegardens.com creative with a K and they have availability. They do have the option to sell directly to consumers if you reach out to them and uh, and you know if you're interested in one of their plants but I just thought these were so cute. Look at her display. I love it. So this is a really interesting product. They're um, called Plant Pockets and they're actually grow bags. So you can put the soil directly in there and grow it or you can put a little planter, like a nursery pot in there um, if you just want like a nice covering. They're photodegradable, environmentally friendly. Also, I thought it was really cool that you can adjust the size you want um, based on your planter. Like as you can see here, this is a good example. They have it folded over so it looks nice, but it's really, you know, a common to the size of the pot. Um, I was really excited about these because it helps uh, promote airflow. So, you know, it helps prevent root rot because it's having airflow. And what you would want to do is put like some sort of saucer underneath, you know, or inside um, to prevent, you know, the, the because the water will come out just like any pot that has drainage, which you want to have anyways. Um, they also have 
these kind that actually will hang, um, which I thought was really lovely. So you can kind of hang your hang your um, hang your plants up. Really interesting. So this is the Sun Bulb Company display with Better Grow and uh, Dynamite and Plant Style Group. And there are so many beautiful orchids here. I just had to take a minute to share with you guys because um, they're amazing. Ones I'd never seen before. I mean, look at this brilliant purple orchid. Absolutely beautiful. All these Vanda orchids. Um, I know a lot of you are orchid lovers and very experienced and I strive to learn as much as you one day about orchids because they are gorgeous but I was told that these guys don't need to be watered they get their nutrients and water from their environment and from the air and from the humidity it's why they grow so well in Florida and of course I'm sure there's like plant food and stuff that's required but I just can't get over it like I'm amazed by air plants I know totally different thing but such to me, I'm just fascinated by Mother Nature. I do have this one myself. I've been told it's an easy care orchid. Uh, mine is still alive. I'm proud to proud to share it. I think it's called like a dancing, dancing yellow dancer. It's beautiful. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. But I have to say, this one really caught my eye. This is the Snow Blind Sweet Spots. Wow, <laughs> it's like sunrise orchid. Look at this purple one. Just stunning. So many amazing plants here. Absolutely incredible. That's fine. I'm just kind of high level, show some of the different plants. If you're interested in learning more about pricing and all of that, uh, I recommend going to their website, which is equigenerous.com. I was walking past this booth and I thought it was really cool. It's Plant Finder, um, plantsearch.com. And if you're looking for a plant, you can search for it and find it. I don't know if it's um, for like consumers or hobbyists like us, but maybe, you know, if you're looking for a plant, you can see um, who has it. I thought that was really cool. College L, and we have a very unique water management technology for all of you underwaterers out there. So Hydrotain is a tool that is going to convert your soil humidity back into plant usable water droplets so that you don't have to water as often and can still keep your plants thriving. We did a demo before coming to the show um, where we um, did not treat this plant. This got about a quart of water um, last Tuesday, so it's been about nine days. And you can see nine days without water, you can see that it's starting to fail. Um, and this plant was treated with a hydrotane mixture uh, at the same time. So this has now also gone nine days without water and is still maintaining quite a bit of, of plant health. This will also pop back better once it gets watered, once we leave the show and put water back on it, this is going to come back and continue to thrive where this plant is going to be really difficult to recover as many, as many parts of it are starting to die at this point. 
Um, it is great for your interior plants, but can also be used on all of your exterior plants as well. Um, and for those of you who are overwaters, don't worry because it's not going to accentuate your fungus or root rot issues. Um, you can find the product at your local, some of your local retailers um, or online um, and visiting hydrotain.com. That's H-Y-D-R-E-T-A-I-N.com. You'll be able to find a list of our local retailers. Some really cool stuff on this um, at this booth. These are cryptanthus. They're so awesome. And then they do have some of the maize plants or ant plants. I have this one. I was told it actually flowers, so I will be keeping an eye out for flowering ones. This one is really cool as well. It has like these long leaves, but this one actually has like a fuzzy base to it. So I love it. Gorgeous air plants and bromeliads. I think this one's really pretty. I was told this one's actually a tillandsia. Absolutely. Gorgeous, gorgeous plants, some nice orchids. And this um, company actually won Best New Flowering Plant, which is, um, it was a larger version, I'll show it here, but it's of this one, which is an Anthurium Michelle. It's a hybrid, absolutely beautiful. I'm Kristen with Arborjet Ecologel, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our organic insect and disease control solutions. Uh, one of them that I'm holding here is called Eco One. And the nice thing about Eco One is that it's made with botanical oils, uh, meaning that it's gonna be really easy uh, for you to use safely on your plants, both inside and outside. Uh, the botanical oils include linseed oil, peppermint oil, and thyme oil. And the peppermint oil and thyme oil really give that extra uh, boost to um, control soft-bodied insects like aphids, uh, mites in particular. One of the things that you can do as well um, is protect your plants from powdery mildew. It's going to really work really good, especially as a preventative option. Um, it's organic, so it, and it's actually organic certified, so you can use it on fruits, vegetables, um, like I said, inside the house, outside herbs. It's really a nice, uh, nice product for that. Another product that can help with insects is called Azasol. Um, and the nice thing about Azasol is that it's a water-soluble powdered neem product. And it also can be used as a soil drench. So one of the things I like to do is um, take a teaspoon, uh, put it into a container similar to this uh, with water, shake it up really good, make sure it's all dissolved, and then I'll spray the plants, and then whatever I have left, I'll do a little soil drench. And the nice thing with that is that it's gonna go into the roots, go up into the plant, stay in the plant, and anything that's eating, uh, piercing, sucking, chewing on your plants will be, um, will be affected. Um, it's an insect growth regulator, so they'll stop feeding, reproducing, and they don't go to their next stage of life. Also, it's available um, online as well as through your local retailer, Garden Center. How amazing was that? I have to say I was completely blown away. It was so much more than I was expecting. I'm definitely going to be attending that event again. I saw so many cool plants, so many interesting uh, plant products. So definitely keep an eye out for the next two episodes. One where I go around asking all of the growers for the plant trends for 2022 cool, interesting plants we can keep an eye out for this year. But also the episode where they had the plant contest where Costa Farm submitted some really cool plants that they told me we could be, you know, keeping an eye out for over the next couple years. So definitely leave your comments and any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer any questions you have below. And make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more Plant Life episodes showing up in your newsfeed. I have really exciting content coming out. And we also have an amazing Instagram community that we would love for you to be part of. All right. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.